is going on chill army dion drug 7 here and i'm pretty excited today um i know i'm a little late on this but it's regarding the pokemon news that was handed out you know earlier this week well not really earlier this week but you know in the middle of the week wednesday but uh i'm always late on pokemon news because you know i do other stuff besides tackle pokemon news which maybe i should do pokemon news more often because i feel like every time i cover something like every time i do a reaction to pokemon news or like just cover pokemon news myself i feel like those give me more views so maybe i should just become like a pokemon news channel but uh i don't know you guys like to see me uh shiny hunt and stuff like that so i don't know comment down below and let let me know what you guys want me to do but anyways let's just get right to the news so here we have in the games department we have pokemon masters uh basically it's about um i guess mark i guess archie and maxi are coming to the game uh i don't really pay pay that much attention to pokemon masters um i do have the game on my phone i play it once in a while but you know i don't really play it like that i'm not really too big on you know the pokemon spin-offs and stuff like that so um, especially in the mobile game department like i don't even touch pokemon go and stuff like i don't touch all the big mobile game stuff either so next up we have the pokemon news regarding pokemon home which uh is that is important to me because as you guys know i am trying to build a like a living dex in my home like a national living dex so uh wish me luck in that so maybe this might give me some good news so a new update has been announced for pokemon home on mobile this update will drop next month and will contain a special calendar which keeps track of days your pokemon were caught as well as a model viewer I wonder what they mean by model viewer. Like, what do they mean by model viewer? Like, when you, like, is it like, um, kind of like in the Pokedex, like in most Pokedex games where it's like you select a model and like you can view like the back sprite and everything and stuff like that. I don't know. You know, it's something like that. Like, I miss Pokemon, I miss Pokedex uh, Pro. You guys remember, um, because they made like Pokedex 3D Pro for the for the DS, and then they made Pokedex Pro. They they put they basically put Pokedex 3D Pro on the on the iPhone and iPad, which I missed that. Pokemon, if you're listening to us, if you're if you ever come across this video, please make another like version of that, because I would love to have like an official Pokedex app, like just just strictly based on the Pokedex that has all you know the pokemon and like each you know each game or each generation you you know add a new one i don't know i'm i'm obsessed with pokedex apps you know i i have a i have a couple pokedex apps on my phone because you know instead of going to cerebi.net or whatever or going to bulbapedia i can just open it up and read about the pokemon because i like i don't know i like searching up certain things like the move sets and stuff like that in addition to this there will be a gift of a gigantamax factor uh, Bulbasaur and Gigantamax Factor Squirtle given to all players. Oh, I still do need to get a Gigantamax Squirtle because I am trying to get all the Gigantamax Pokemon uh, registered in my living decks because I don't just want, you know, I don't just want Gigantamax, um, not Gigant, I don't just want like the basic forms of the Pokemon. I want all the forms of the Pokemon. So that includes like all the unknowns, all the Vivians, all the Flabebes. All the fur fros, all or fur fros. I don't know how to. Is it fur fro or fur fro? I, I always forget how to pronounce the name. All the uh, Gigantamax forms and stuff like that. Like, you know, regional variants. Don't really care too much about the regional, not regional variants. Um, the gender variations. I don't really care too much about that because it doesn't really affect the Pokedex. But I'm talking about like actual forms. That's what I want. So. Yeah, I do need that Gigantamax Squirtle because I always forget to take my, uh, I always forget to take my Blast Toys to like, you know, eat the Max Suit so I can get the Gigantamax feature because I do want a shiny uh, Gigantamax uh, War Turtle. Ooh, I need a shiny, I need a shiny Charmander. I need to get, for, I need to go for shiny Ch Charmander soon so that way I can go and get the Gigantamax shiny Charizard. I need, I really need that one. So here's the thing that you all clicked on this video for. So it's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl news. So the Pokemon company have confirmed that uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will be released on November 19th, 2021. And a dual pack will also be released in 
We'll also release in all regions for players who wish to purchase both titles, which, hmm. I know it's gonna be hella expensive, but I low-key do want that dual pack version because you guys know me. Um, when I so when I was younger, I used to get both versions. But since Pokemon games came to the, but that was when you know my mom would buy the games for me. But now I buy the games for myself. <laughs> and um, the reason I used to do that was because I had two DSs. Like I usually always had two DSs because you know, uh, of course I had the. 3ds like i had a 3ds and i had two ds's and stuff like that i like i had a bunch of i had a bunch of ds's like i i'm pretty sure i have like yeah i had like every single like 3ds model i had the 3ds the 3ds xl the 2ds and then the 2ds xl so i literally had all four versions unless there was like some weird fifth version i didn't know about I mean, I, comment down below if i'm missing anyone but I know for a fact that Pokemon, um, that, you know, since I had the 3DSs and the 2DSs, I could just trade between versions. So I would usually, so, you know, my mom would usually, I would tell my mom to buy both versions because I like to trade between myself because I don't really have that many friends who play Pokemon in real life. Like all of my Pokemon friends are like in, all of my Pokemon friends I know are usually online so you guys know what i would do i just trade i would just trade with myself in between versions so i'm kind of glad that there's a dual slot version or not dual slot but a dual pack coming out and with the addition of pokemon home because for those of you who don't know you can actually transfer pokemon from like your alternate nintendo id and basically you can take pokemon from there you transfer pokemon from like your alternate save file to or from your other version to Pokemon Home and then you can like transfer it to the other version of your game so I actually really do like this that they're like making a dual pack but it's gonna be hella expensive which I mean I am planning on doing DoorDash for the summer so you know hopefully I'll have the money by then I should have the money by then because you can get you can make like a lot of money from DoorDash easily within a week so who knows but anyways, onto the game. I'm more excited for uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus, the Pokemon company have confirmed Pokemon Legends Arceus will be released January 28th, 2020, which honestly blew my mind when I first read this because I wasn't expecting Legends Arceus to come like two months after basically two months after brilliant Di the Sinnoh remix came out i wasn't expecting that which which kind of gets me a little concerned because i don't want the game to feel like it was rushed like i do because you know what i was hoping i was kind of expecting them to like maybe release the game i they did say it was going to come out early 2022 but i didn't expect it to come out this early i was maybe thinking i don't know like some sometime maybe like i was thinking like march maybe like maybe march mar like in between march and may like or march and april actually but i wasn't expecting january so interesting hopefully the game doesn't feel i hope the game isn't like super short but then again po then again i mean no pokemon game is really short pokemon games are really only short if you're like actually going through the like you're just speeding through the game not taking time to explore the area so let me talk about this artwork real quick like the actual box artwork i love this I, I don't know this whole landscape is just so cool the designs on the characters and the pokemon just look amazing and i don't know the only the only thing that ruins this from being a like from being like a wallpaper is the is the big logo it's the big logo right here because i don't know i, I just don't like that that's just ill <laughs> that is ill like i would make this a wallpaper if it wasn't for the pokemon legends arceus logo which i understand why it's there but just i just want i just want there to be like a version where they don't include that so that way we can like make that i'm pretty sure like some photoshop can like get rid of that easily but i have no idea how to photoshop <laughs> if someone is able i hope someone does eventually make like a wallpaper because i know a lot of pokemon fans like to make like remixes of pokemon's like official designs and then add their own little things to it so i hope like sometime maybe this week or next week 
or yeah this week or next week or maybe the week after next week because you know people people do the art stuff fast uh hopefully pokemon legends arceus like that whole that logo right there just is non-existent so i can actually use this as a wallpaper anyways back to the news no further details have been provided for this game yet but we will provide more when they come so be sure to keep checking back which honestly i do feel like um i feel like we're about to get like a trailer soon about this game which because i'm actually more excited about this game than the Sinnoh remakes because um i know i know i i suck um it's not me it, just blame the Sinnoh games like the Sinnoh games were just too slow for me i don't know i don't know it's not even that they were too slow i just for some reason whenever a new game comes out i just completely forget about the old one i i don't even touch the old games like the most like the oldest game i've probably the only pokemon game that i've replayed the only pokemon i've the only pokemon i have replayed was heart gold that was the only game i've replayed heart gold and soul silver i have replayed that game well i played through heart gold because i originally played through soul silver but you know um i decided to give heart gold because i never actually I never actually played through Heart Gold. I only played, I got both versions, but I never played through Heart Gold for some reason. So I went ahead and go through um, Heart Gold. That's why I never really went back to play Diamond Pearl Platinum. I I, I don't replay games. It's kind of like me not rewatching movies. Like the only shows I will rewatch, the only shows or movies I will rewatch, well, the only shows I'll rewatch is Degrassi Next Generation because you can't really get tired of that show in community because that's one of my favorite shows of all time any other show after that is like when i'm done with that show like when that show ends it ends for me so like i just don't go back to watch it unless it's like unless it's been like 10 years since i watched it or something like ben 10 like i'll watch it every i'll rewatch the original ben 10 like every now and then but so my personal thoughts on the games you know how i feel about the Sinnoh remakes and the uh Arceus games coming out and the Arceus game coming out I the reason I'm more excited for Arceus is because you know obviously remake everyone's excited for the remake but I'm personally excited for Arceus because I really hope they dwell on the I really hope they fully utilize that open world aspect because it does look like this game is going to be fully fully open world which I'm kind of worried why because like obviously this is like their first like truly open world game i know they experimented with sword and shield which i mean sword and shield like the let's be real the wild area kind of was trash <laughs> the wild area was kind of trash and then it got a little better with the isle of armor except the isle of armor was a little too short but then after well after the additions of the isle of armor and the crown tundra it kind of became a Full, like kind of became a pseudo open world game i mean yeah it's, it, it became more of like a pseudo open world game because once you're in those wild areas you can do whatever you want you can do you can catch pokemon you can battle pokemon you can do max raids and stuff like that which is like the only reason people really go there and of course you can go to the max layer in the crown tundra to do the dynamax adventure that's that's why i'm more excited for arceus and plus i'm just kind of like i'm trying to figure out like what the main goal of it is because you know most pokemon games where it's like oh hey uh you get your pokemon you get your starter you like you get your starter then you travel catch pokemon you know beat the gyms or insert replacement of gin because you know sun and moon and then you beat the elite four and the champion and then you just do whatever you want afterwards so i'm wondering what arceus is going to be since uh apparently there aren't going to be gym leaders in this game since you know this is taking place in ancient johto and i'm pretty sure gym leaders is in plus gym leaders is more of like a more recent aspect i believe i wonder what's going to be in place like i hope there's going to be pokemon bosses because one thing i do miss about pokemon games is the pokemon bosses you know like like super strong pokemon that you just encounter like the red gyarados uh snorlax I'm forgetting a, a bunch of other strong boss like overworld Pokemon in older games, but 
there was a but there there was a couple of them there was a couple of them one critique that i do have about the pokemon games is like instead of having pokemon games where it's like uh instead of having pokemon games where it's oh most of the bosses are just gym leaders and rivals and the elite four we need to make more pokemon bosses you know make more overworld strong pokemon that are actual bosses that are actually challenges to catch and maybe you can like catch those pokemon use those on your team and stuff like that like i would i hope we do something like that i really hope we do something like that like uh maybe maybe like this might be a way to like get instead of well you know since this will be our way to get arceus into our national decks how about like i hope we make this like our way to get other pokemon that like maybe man if making manaphy like some sort of like make like a manaphy quest where you know you get fiona where somehow you get fiona and manaphy because i was gonna say boss but fiona and manaphy don't really give me boss vibes uh maybe give us a dark rye vibe and stuff like that or a shaman event in the game instead of just having to wait for you know pokemon to give us the events i just hope that we make like pokemon like the legendary pokemon sort of like mini bosses or something like or maybe like make like super strong pokemon like maybe like a reggie gigas boss where like you accidentally unlock reggie gigas and you know reggie gigas goes on a rampage and you have to like use all your pokemon to stop it or something i don't know but i'm kind of just rambling on so <laughs> that's kind of the end of the news so basically long story short I'm pretty excited for both the remakes and Arceus, but I am more excited for uh, Arceus. And for those of you who are curious about me playing Pokemon Diamond Pearl, and if you guys are wondering why I'm not playing the game, why I'm not playing the, through the Sinnoh games right now and then play the remakes is because, well, one, I don't have to if I don't want to. And two, I want, I want it to be like a blind reaction to the Sinnoh game, sort of like, well, not really a blind reaction, but I want this to be like, my first time playing through Sinnoh so it's not just like oh we've all seen this before like you guys most of you guys have played through the Sinnoh games already I personally haven't as I said like a billion times already so while you guys already know what's gonna happen I personally don't know like where to go and stuff like that like like you guys like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like one of my like where do I go kind of situation so hopefully hopefully like I actually do have a fun time playing this because I was thinking of playing through Diamond and Pearl but I had a feeling that remakes were going to be announced this year so I'm glad I didn't so when the remakes come out these will be my first time this will be my first time playing it just like how you know Heart Gold and Soul Silver are my first times going through Johto and Kanto uh Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are my first times going through Ruby and Sapphire and now we have Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl where these are my first times playing through the Sinnoh game. This is my first time playing through Sinnoh fully, so I'm pretty, I'm really excited for this. I know some of y'all have probably, you know, dashed off already, but <laughs> I know some of you guys already dashed off already, which is fine. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys make me smack that like button. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please, uh, if you know, please consider subscribing and, you know, clicking that bell icon so you guys will be notified whenever i make a new upload it's 100 percent free i promise you yeah be sure to check out all my other content as well and yes please do subscribe like i'm saying this again like please do subscribe because um you know i turns out a majority of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed which i don't know what that's all about because if you like pokemon content you'll like me you know i'm pretty hype about pokemon only good chill army there we go see you guys I didn't have to say that. We're gonna be here for a while. This video is gonna be 30 minutes long. No, it's not. End of the video.